Breaking news, Minnesota Vikings star pass rusher Daniil Hunter plans to skip mandatory minicamp as he begins his holdout as him and the Vikings are not seeing eye to eye on a potential new contract. Let's talk about this, people. What is going on, Joe Foss? Four Star back at it with another video. Talking, of course, some NFL here to talk about this very latest news in regards to Vikings pass rusher Daniel Hunter. And if it makes sense for the Chicago Bears to swoop in and try to acquire Hunter uh, via trade with the Minnesota Vikings. Before we do that, if you guys are new to the channel, please do make, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Please make sure you're following me on all my social media platforms, guys. And as always, hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. All right, so a lot to get to here with Daniil Hunter. But basically, the story is this, all right? Him and the Vikings just aren't seeing eye to eye on a new contract. And he's basically going to hold out. He's planning to skip mandatory minicamp. And this is going to be the beginning of a holdout potentially for Hunter as he looks to uh, get the proper compensation that he wants, all right? And if that doesn't happen, then the Vikings could look to trade him. Ian Rapport just uh, reported that the Vikings have received calls centered around the star pass rusher. So it seems like other teams are obviously interested and the Vikings are taking calls, which means they're potentially interested in trading him. So let's talk about where the Bears come in here. Obviously, we know the Bears' number one need is pass rusher, edge rusher, and Daniil Hunter is literally the uh, perfect fit textbook def definition of uh, the type of guy you would want here uh, in terms of you know a guy who's just productive you know, a few years ago. Back-to-back 14-and-a-half -back sack seasons, folks. Last year, uh, when he got healthy again, put up double-digit sack numbers, 10-and-a-half. Like, all he does when he's healthy is produce. I get the injury concerns, but all this man does when he's healthy is produce one of the most underrated pass rushers in football. And, uh, yeah, this is something where the Bears certainly should be interested. He's still only 28 years old. It's not like he's on the back end uh, of, of 30 or anything like that where he's too old. He still has... Uh, many productive years left, I believe. So uh, pro football focus analyst Brad Spielberg also talked about this, that even with some injury concerns, uh, should be a long list of teams interested in Daniil Hunter with a major extension and necessity. A smart team would agree to it as a condition of the trade. Some of the teams he listed are the Giants, Broncos, Texans, Bears, Panthers, Falcons, Saints. So obviously the Bears in there. And then he also talked about that... Um, you know, as far as the compensation, given the need for an immediate extension, I'd say the Vikings fight hard for a second, but wouldn't be shocked if two-thirds is the best they can do. But guys three to four years older signed big deals last off season. And finally, um, he talked about how, uh, you know, Daniil Hunter was top 15 in pressures and defensive stops last year's among edge rushers. So to me, folks, again, this just hammers home the point about how good Daniil Hunter is, man. He is productive would fit exactly what would we would need. It comes down to price tag. So what is the price tag you're willing to pay? You know that the Bears can match the price tag because they've got draft picks. But what would it take? I think it would take minimum two-thirds. And if that is the price tag of two-thirds, I think Ryan Pulse should entertain it. I think I'd probably do it. If it's more than that, if we're talking about a second or even a first, I'm probably backing off here. I think that's a little too much. But if we're talking two thirds, I think we can we can we can certainly do that for sure. Look, folks, I just think he'd be a good fit in Matt Eberflus's defense, his size, length, athleticism. It's kind of perfect for for what we need. And yeah, I know people would say, "Hey, it's a division rival. They've never to trade with the Bears." You're wrong because their GM um, has traded multiple times already within the division. The T.J. Hawkinson trade, even the the draft night where the Packers took Christian Watson that was a trade the one where the Lions took Jameson Williams that was a trade like this GM does not care the Vikings GM he will trade within the division so that's not gonna be a concern to me all about price tag two-thirds if that is what it takes maybe you get it done more than that probably gonna be a little dicey here if you're Ryan Poles but yeah what do you guys think man I'm all for getting Daniel Hunter if the price tag is right what do you guys think leave a comment down below as always thank you